Welcome to Redneck Outfitters, where the labor's cheap and the advice is free. Thanks for joining us. going on here is the uh, original lug studs are this size. Uh, I did have some chrome ones that are a little bit longer but with the wheels that I'm getting the offset is bigger so neither one of these are going to work. They're not long enough. Uh, I ended up ordering some longer ones. These are actually chrome. And what I'm doing is these are a little bit too long. So rather than try to pick and choose and find out exactly what I need here, uh, I'm cutting them off. Cutting off about a half an inch. Then I'll grind around the edge a little bit to round it to uh, make sure it goes in the in the hubs and threads in okay. Uh, I've already got one in there holding the wheel up so it's working pretty good. I got two more of these to cut and then I gotta round all these off uh, and we'll, we'll see what happens here. It's a pretty simple process. Uh, a lot of folks say why don't you just get the right shit? <laughs> but uh, First of all, I'm not a fan of metric, so I'm not into figuring out millimeters, inches, centimeters to all that crap. We're just, like you said, if it can't be fixed, it can be modified. That's what we're doing. bit hot but it's not going to build up enough heat to make a difference. Well, the factory where I used to work we used to do this crap all the time. You make your own stuff. Basically all I did, wrap tape around it, measure it a half inch from the end, mark a line, zip her off. I'll take one of these that's already sitting here. Uh, you can see, kind of leaves sharpness. You don't want to run your fingers around there.
real good you can do that with a file, but a lot easier, a lot quicker. So hopefully these will go in the hub. Of course you want to test fit them. Uh, when you go to first put them in, make sure you do it nice and slow, nice and easy. You don't want it binding up. You don't want to start cross threading anything because you're going to ruin your drums. Have to re-tap them or whatever. So these are all going in pretty smooth. Now we'll see if we can get the rim on and uh, see what happens. One of the disadvantages of having lug studs or lug bolts instead of lug studs and putting lug nuts on them is getting it to line up. There we go. Uh, exciting day today. Got the bug. Everything underneath is done. And uh, I got her sitting on the ground off the jack stands. Uh, hopefully that's the last time she'll be on jack stands. But uh, she's looking pretty good. Um, see behind me here, got, got the new gas tank in last week. And uh, getting ready to install it here in a little while. <clears throat> but uh, looking through my stuff, I could only find two out of the four hold downs. So uh, what I'm going to do, I have some piece, a little piece of angle here, a little metal that uh, looks to be like it's going to be just fine and uh, I'm going to make a couple so and I know as soon as I get done making them then I'll find the other ones so hopefully before I put this in we'll either have extras or we'll have the originals so but either way we're going to have four hold downs and uh, that's what we're going to do today so we've got to do a little layout work a little cutting with the cutoff wheel, maybe drill a hole for the drill uh, with the drill press for the bolt and uh, go from there. Stay tuned.
I think it'll work. going to do a little test fitting with the uh, new brackets that I made. I'm going to set the gas tank in there. like it's sticking up a little bit on this side. I might have to knock that down a little bit. Get that to hold right. Here's a grab the hole. Nice and tight. Those are going to work. Guess I didn't have to put the big flange up there sticking up like you do on this side. So that's something we could cut off, take care of. No big deal.
cut that one down. Modify. Can't be fixed, it can be modified. We're good to go. I just gotta get all my hoses and all of that good stuff hooked up. My sending unit, I have it, the gasket, and everything. So once I get all this done, I can hook up the the whole light back off, hook up the bottom. Put her back down, put the sending unit in, put my hoses and stuff on, and uh, we'll be ready to fuel her up, and uh, maybe run her up and down the driveway, check out the gears. So we're getting there, we're getting there. Thanks for tuning in.